everybody, welcome to the studio. I'm gonna make a couple of bowls here. I've put a, a bat down on my wheel head. So let's go. Good idea to coat up the clay. Now when I'm doing a bowl, I don't know if you'll see from here, but the shape that I'm left with now as I take my hands off that lump, can you see it's a little bit in at the base? All right, it's a good idea when you're doing a bowl just to get that coming in a bit. So, this will be a bowl for turning, and this bowl is going to be a sort of functional decorative bowl. I'm going to make it nice and round. So, pulling out the clay, see the form coming as I pull it up. Working on the inside of the bowl, compressing the bottom and getting it nice and s that fully flowing curve you've heard me talk about in the base. Now I'm very gradually here curving in the the rim of the bowl. Sort of inward, inwardly curving bowl. These are maybe the the women out there amongst you will relate to this, but I've discovered that if you put bowls down in front of people, if you put a let's say an open bowl, this is not what I call an open bowl. It is an open bowl, but it's an open bowl with a this inward bit here where it's coming back in again. You put them down in front in front of a bunch of women and say which ones they, do they prefer. I've discovered that almost universally they'll just say that this kind where it's going out but then coming in nice rounded shape. Now, I don't know why but well you might say what's that got to do with the price of eggs? Well probably not a lot but Just a simple observation. There we are. Well, I'm not going to do much more on that one right now because that's going to be for trimming. So, I'm going to just go through the motions here and finish that one off with the leather. That's right. Wire, wire him off that get him off the wheel head and get another bat stick it down you were thinking about something bigger than that weren't you These are the ones just getting my eye in. 
Okay, let's try another one. You get down to centering a lump of clay, you know, get lean into it a bit, you know, put a bit of give it a stick, you know. Don't sort of sit back all sort of, you know, put a bit of your body into it. It may demand it, you know, just... This one's going to be slightly different, well, similar but not... This one's going to be a bit taller. Well, I expect you're th saying to yourselves, oh, God, thank God he hasn't got the camera on his head anymore. <laughs> We were all getting sick. <laughs> but so many people writing to me saying, Oh, Simon, we can't watch any more of your videos. I can't even get to the end of the clip and I have to, and I feel, and I feel my stomach's turning. Well, I looked at a few as well and I thought the same. A little bit too much movement. The idea could be worked on, I think, but. So, pulling up now. You see, I'm pulling it up and out, but you notice the top is still in, and I want to keep it in. So, let's have a go. Let's see that. La la la. Got a little dry spot on the inside there. You get a dry spot and you're lifting, and it suddenly gets dry on you. You need to stop and maybe give yourself some more water because if you don't, you'll lose the pot. Because it drag it, it'll catch you on your hand and drag, and then it'll pull the pot off centre, won't it? So as you can see, this bowl. Is I'm just manipulating it and getting it it's going rounder and rounder. So up. Now this top lip here, I can actually fold right over if I want to, you see like that. It's now actually well, you won't be able to see it. It's actually gone up like that, but it actually it's gone down like that on itself. I don't actually want it like that. Just showing you that's what you can do. Clay is wonderful stuff, isn't it? God. It's just amazing. Thank God for clay. Where would we be if we didn't have clay? It's unique material, isn't it? There's nothing, nothing quite like it. Allows you to manipulate it, allows you to fire it. So, okay, with my my stick, my throwing stick, I'm just cleaning off some of the slurry there on the outside of the bowl, you see? Like that. We'll put in a little undercut. Not that we need much because it's going to be. We're going to trim it, aren't we? Well, I hope you're all out there in your studios and you're practicing. I know it's a bit of a phrase I've seen to repeat and people comment on it, but it, the truth is if you want to get proficient at it, making numbers and as I was writing to somebody just last night or yesterday who's set a target for a hundred I said good for you that's good and best set yourself up a gauge when you do so that will help your consistency right well I'll cut this guy off I don't know what the time is maybe we'll run out of time 
Anyway, Simon Leach here saying, keep learning, keep practicing, hang on in there. We'll see you soon. Oops. Ugh.